Aquarius, it is your time to shine. Thank you so much for checking out my channel here at Reflexive Moon Tarot. My name is Sarah, and we are doing a reading for you for your full moon in Aquarius. So let's see what the cards have to say for the next 28 days. We're going to start off with Mildred, um, Miss Mildred's deck, Mildred Payne. Um, so obviously you're in your own element for this full moon and the ruling planet of your sign is Uranus, so not Uranus. <laughs> um, Uranus is the Greek god of the sky, so sky energy as above, so below. Uh, humanitarianism and intuition as well, which is very strongly linked to unconventional methods. When you think about the way the world operates on a evidence-based approach to everything it's not really about following your intuition but as an aquarius as your fabulous self that is how you are in your own element and also really innovative with what it is that you create what it is that you bring to the table very forward thinking new and forward thinking so this is your time to shine again for the next 28 days Let's see, Scarab, 8-8, eight, 8-8-8. Eight. Eight, eight, eight. All right, so 8-8 eight, eight and the Scarab. It has to do with like some sacred ancient things. I am going to look this up real quick. The Scarab. It's exclusive to this deck, not in the regular um, pocket edition. So we have rebirth and renewal and regeneration. Immortality and an eternal cycle. That makes me think the immortality. I don't know if you all have watched that movie, The Mummy. <laughs> um, the one that had the one that was in the like in the 2000s, the early 2000s must have been about. Yeah. And the scarab, like the guy picked the scarab off. It was like it looked like a jewel, but they were actually alive. <laughs> so, immortality lasting, you know, three thousand plus years. Those little, those little buggers. <laughs> and we have out wisdom and the star. So, everything really seems to be in alignment for you, Aquarius. Let's see what uh, the Zammers are saying. The Zammer twins. For the sign Aquarius. Ooh, the twins. The Zammer twins themselves. Perhaps they were Aquarius. This is uh, about duality and what else? Sacred splitting of the atom coming of age, new beginnings, also a joyful time. So very much linked to the sun card. Um, good days of childhood remembered as well. So fleeting moments that must be savored. You may be experiencing some good old days times with family members, with old friends. Good times. All right everything in good spirit although you might be missing or feeling like you're at a loss perhaps maybe uh, the reason why you're coming together with certain individuals is because um of a funeral so i i feel like it's a funeral that might be known that you know was of an old person basically so celebration of life as well We have the Page of Pentacles. Now the Page of Pentacles, what else? I just feel like, so backtracking to this, you know, um, days of childhood remembered. I don't, it might not have been somebody that was old, but it's that they knew that like their days were numbered or what else? It's just, I feel like they are in a better place and 
really I don't know it's almost like they know they know that you're remembering them and and they're like it's there like they're still still there with you and you are potentially this young page or there is somebody else who's a young person that you're concerned about another family member perhaps or um, a child who could be a Capricorn Taurus uh, or Virgo Page of Pentacles has come through in quite a few reads this time around. But if they're a Capricorn, they're just learning how to manifest money or they're trying to get healthy so that they can make some money. But it, Or it's time for them to start making money and they are resistant to the prospect of work for whatever reason. It's hard to entice them. Maybe they just have anxiety or they're being a brat. <laughs> it's possible. There's no conflict over the situation, though. No true conflict. It's just, you know, it is what it is. I'm not sure if that's going to last forever, but there's no drama. It's just a matter of, I would say this individual learning, like they're learning how to love themselves, but they're still there's a weak point that they're going through king of swords so within i mean subconsciously they could be dealing with some daddy issues as well also and and that could be the daddy issues might be something that is manifesting within them. Like they're just really having to unpack that and see how it impacts their behavior. And they could be, or you could be dealing with this as well. Daddy issues, how it impacts your behavior, not wanting to learn or not want to boss up when it comes to um, mental health. So if that's you, Aquarius, I mean, this is you. You need to deal with whatever mental health issues you have from stuff that you've gone through in the past. Because it's going to impact you psychologically if you don't get it under control. So... You know what it is to overcome anxiety. You know what it is to be without anxiety. I and mean, you could sort of be in the thick of having some anxiety. Or it, it also could just be that anxiety really isn't an issue for you. You, And if it is, you've learned from a strength-based perspective how to turn your weakness into a strength, which is the essence of strength-based. It's like, like, like understanding and, and knowing that you've overcome a great deal of adversity now we have the nine of cups reversed you're gonna you're gonna make a choice indecision is not really gonna be an issue for you I, I would say that this is this is pretty solid you're on the road to learning you know that there's things that you need to learn things that you need to take care of despite being reluctant having anxiety and dealing with like a lot on your plate Ooh, i just feel really heavy for a second there you know there's really there's nothing really getting in your way so moving forward isn't going to be an issue for you it's almost like you're already on the right path you don't really know what's going to happen but you're ready you might be a little bit troubled, might be feeling a little bit in the dark about a lot of things, which could cause the anxiety to stir up a little bit. People see that you're struggling on some level to manifest money, to take care of yourself and to take care of those who you're responsible for. I would say don't do not let this get you down and just because others see you as a reverse queen of pentacles does not mean that it that you aren't already a, a, an upright queen of pentacles 
this this spot like this card is always like is always you know um it's like the card of relativity it's relative to how everyone you know is perceiving it and how you also perceive yourself from an outside perspective so it's relative to the individual who's looking from the outside in so for some people the way that they see you is that you are they could see you as selfish they could see you as uh, a bit of a martyr as well they could also see you as giving too much of yourself and not taking care of you we have also the um, seven of wands so you interestingly I would say that your fear is dealing with a large level of conflict. This is, this could be a fear of resisting change. Like you want to embrace the change because this type of, this type of conflict when it comes to like ideas and, and the change that it, it is a catalyst for is, it's like paradigm shift level of change. So it can be you, this can, this can represent you being a part of a movement for change on a grand scale. This can also be you embracing large scale change within and really unpacking and processing what it is that you need to let go of and the new mindsets and um, connections, positive connections that you need to embrace. And then we have the Ten of Swords. Da, da, da. Or da, 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 da. <laughs> da, da. So it is a mood, a dark, moody card. But what is great about this card is that it's done. It's like whatever you've been through, it's changed who you are. And there's nothing that you can really do about it. You can resent it and resist it all you want. But there's no going back. And you only have forward and onward to look forward to. So embracing the new you. Okay. It's just a brand new kind of you. Don't be sad. It's just a brand new kind of me. Which means it's also a brand new kind of free. Thank you, Alicia Keys. <laughs> Cat wants to play. So, brand new kind of free, brand new kind of me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't know if you can hear. She's mad at her toy. <laughs> um... So, brand new kind of you, brand new kind of free. It's the new you. Other people might not like that. Oh, we have the Knight of Wands here. Wow, this fell out of the deck. I didn't even see it. So, someone's going to come through. They may be come through. They may be coming through like from left field. They're just going to like whip around the corner and there they are. They got your back. That's fun. That's exciting. So this could mean a couple of things. And we're going to clarify probably with a different deck in a moment. Um, the tower reversed is a resistance to change. Now, I don't know if it's a resistance to change on this individual or if it's a resistance to change on your level, but there is something that you need to come to terms with it. Like there's a cracked foundation that you're dealing with or it's just like a mindset that you need to release yourself from. And it could be that you are, it could be from what, like anything that you're like wasting time doing what you're doing or that you are just not as consistent as you need to be. What else am I getting? It's just something comes to an end. It's a new it's a new beginning. This could even be like 
This could even be something like changing changing your home or it's just like there's going to be like a it's like a flash of lightning and everything comes crumbling down everything changes and you might already know that things are changing that you're on in the in a direction towards change but you don't know how it's going to look and you don't know um you don't know what it's even going to feel like you have, might have a great idea of what it's going to feel like but you really have zero clue as to what the outcome will be and there's going to be a huge moment of release but until you kind of get yourself there it's not really happening for you interestingly uh where is So, loving yourself, finding balance between your masculine and feminine energies, and also really just embracing your, like the prospect of creating something new for yourself, creating change for yourself. You might be resistant to that, or just like, because it's such an unknown, right, we have this we have this unknown that's making you resistant. It's like uh, holding, it's like you're just holding yourself in together. It's very, it's giving me very Eight of Swords vibes. So you don't know what you don't know. It feels like it's holding you back or time might be holding you back. I, I would definitely say though that like, at least it's not, any of your inner demons or any issues that you have that's holding you back it it seems to be a little bit more external and you're on your way though to embracing a new life being around a family or people that you um feel really super comfortable and who you can like who are a true reflection of who you are Okay, so thank you so much. Uh, please do hit that like and subscribe button if this resonates. If not, um, do the same anyways, like and subscribe <laughs> for the next read. And we will catch you next time. Take care and bye for now.